Okay, so here we are with the tiebreaker race. So based on these positions, we will look at the people that are tied in the top 10 and order them on where they finish here. So even if, say between Wood and Boer, even if Wood finishes in 15th and Boer finishes in 20th, Wood is in the highest spot over Boer, meaning Wood would secure that first spot and Boer would take second. So with that explained, let's get them in and let's just get this race going for the tiebreaker. As they are off. Everyone's staying in quite a reasonable formation here. Big collision there, really shaking them up. Looks like Riders taking that top spot. So Wood currently holding in front of Boer. Boer getting held back a bit. Budo quite far back as well. So Wood with a good start. But Boer is only two places behind. As yes, we have come back to the track with Bartos Triangle, which is right over here. From the first race, as Wood has actually ended up going down the longer route here, meaning Boer is going to get a good bit of time up in front. So it is very close here, but it is not good news for Wood trying to hold first first position, as this is a good chance for Boer to try and make some time up on this short race. So with everyone so close together at the moment, it's hard to say what's going to happen. as they will make their way over the top here. So it's like Cheese is taking the inside. James with a bad bout, same as Stanky. Hmm. Cheese in first, Ryder in second, Spacek in third. However, this doesn't mean anything for them top three. Boer is in fourth and what is one of the ones we will be focusing on and side effects as well we've got t-dub school of thugs and buddha and woods actually getting past mario andrew and alice i did not see what happened there but wood trying to make some time back here I don't think it will be enough unless Boer ends up getting caught down that slow route. So as they're back at the ladder, Boer securing that top position currently. We have T-Dub, School of Fix and Side Effects in front of Budo. Wood is on the ladder as well, but a few spots down. Coming up to the top now. Going on to the final lap. So, Ryder, Cheese, and Space, they're trying to show that. They can race. That final race of the season was not the best race for either of these, but they are making a point here. Were in fourth, and James Side Effects, Stanky, School of Fox, T Dub, Muffin, and Budo. Still, no one getting stuck down that straight. As Wood makes their way down. It looks like Wood will be losing out that top spot on the final leaderboard and will be dropping to second. Let's see what happens for the rest though. 
So T Dub actually hopping on with Boer here. It looks like T Dub may take the tiebreaker for that third place. Now there are prizes, of course, in the server for the top five. So the top three being the bigger prizes, and first place being the best prize, of course. So T Dub looks like they're securing that third. Then it's going to be between Budo, Side Effects, and School of Thugs for the uh, final two spots for prizes. As everyone is making their way up the ladder now. So it all comes down to this, the end of the final lap. Let's slow this down a bit. Slow this down a lot. So, it's basic finish in first, cheese in second. But what is important is that Boer. Wow, for Boer and Tidup. Tidup actually getting past Boer, but it means Boer takes the first spot from the tiebreaker. Tidup taking. The third spot, what's gonna happen here is Budo. Budo actually, was Budo in front? I think Budo was there. Uh, so it was Budo, then Side Effects, then Mini, then Stanky, then School of Thugs. Which means Budo secures uh, one of the top five spots. I think Budo secured fourth there with that. But as Barto is saying in the chat, uh, big play by T Dub. It was indeed. T Dub has done really well in this race. Uh, imagine secure that third place on the final leaderboard. Pushing Bido to the fourth spot, side effects to the fifth spot, and score through to the sixth spot, if I am correct. So let's focus on our, not just the winner of this race, but our new, that's a great angle, our new overall winner for the pre-season it is Boer so I'm going to make a quick update to the standings okay the standings are now sorted out that took a little while because I was actually uh, totally prepared for this actually sorting out uh, having to change the standings for this is one thing I'd sort of forgotten about So here are the standings now with the tiebreaker included. So I've had to tweak the points slightly, so I've added points on uh, to actually order them. Uh, so though they're not quite the exact points, it just made it a bit easier for the ordering because the way this works. So we have, um, in the future I may do some more tweaking and maybe keep the points the same and just move around the positions. But I thought this would be the best way of doing it, is just add points, uh, make it a bit clear uh, so you can see what the results are in order. So the top 10 tiebreakers have been sorted. So Boer is our winner of the very first season, well, pre-season of Ultimate Marble Racing. Uh, Barto getting timed out once again, oh dear. Uh, Wood taking second, T Dub taking third, so they are our top three. Then Budo fourth, and Side Effects fifth. Our top five, the top five that get the prizes in the server. Then we have School of Thugs in sixth, Stanky in seventh, Jake in eighth, Magic in ninth, and Shady in tenth to make up our top ten. So down from there, we do have some tiebreakers. They have just been array arranged by. Uh, alphabetical, uh, so alphabetically. So we have Cheese in 11th, just outside the top 10. Then we have Barto, James, Logan, Kutzi, Demon Lover, Mario, SpaceX, Stormy, Muffin, Nick, Alice, Mini, Ryder, and Skyline that make up our top 25 on the leaderboard. Barto getting timed out twice. Yes, I'll have to look into the moderation. It is set up as just the automatic. Uh, 
<laughs> it's timed out again. Automatic moderation system. So yeah, let me know what's going on. Um, I'll I'll try and figure it out and get it changed for the next stream. Uh, cheese, yeah, cheese. If you can have a look, actually, uh, just see what's going on. Um, I think I've just got one of the automatic uh, setups going on. <laughs> so see what it is that's uh, flagging it and. Uh, I'm guessing it's nothing, nothing too bad, so it's all fine. Um, just to, to help King Barto, to stop him from getting timed out so much. Although it is amusing to watch. So there we have it for the pre-season. You don't have access. Okay, I'll have to take a look at it. But there we have it for the pre-season of Ultimate Marble Racing. So tomorrow we do have another track showcase. I do have a track lined up for that. You have to wait until tomorrow to see what that is. And next up will be season one, which will be starting sometime in the near future. I haven't got an exact date yet. It could be as soon as Thursday or it could be next week. And it'll be down to, well, it's probably less likely to be Thursday, to be completely honest. It's it's down to how quick we can get new tracks in place. Uh, I'd like to see some more track submissions, get some track votes going on, see which ones should stay, which ones should go, and what new tracks will be coming into the first season, season one. Can't really say first season, this was the first season, but season one. Um, we'll also be seeing people accessing the shop and getting their new teams sorted, so we'll have some new skins on the track as everyone gets into their team roles and in the future potentially team races uh, cheese maybe get the highway finished for season one that would be good um, if you want to submit it and enter it as a a later stage race if you can get it done for say later down the line in season one you can always put it further down in the track uh, track order Yeah, please get submitting your your own tracks. Get submitting some that are on the workshop that you like the look of. If there are any that you play or you've tried out and you think, oh, this is a really good track, it'd be good to have it in the races, then submit it, uh, even if it's not yours. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> and then once we get the track votes done and all that sorted, season one will be able to begin. work on more tracks after the highway good stuff get work on our track for season two a jump field track oh, i'm sure everyone's gonna love that but with all that done now and the pre-season over be sure to check out uh, the ultimate marble racing youtube channel so if you miss any videos or want to re-watch any of this action then you can go see it over there uh, Ultimate Marble Racing is also on Instagram and TikTok, although still yet to post anything proper there. Uh, it's still in its early stages, but th we do have a presence. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to go follow on Twitch. You can watch them live. And if you follow, you'll get to take part as a racer. We are trying to push towards affiliate at the moment. Um, I'm amazed by the growth this guy in this first preseason, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it. It's, it's great to see all the support I've had from everyone. Um, everyone seems to be really enjoying it. Uh, it's quite a surprise. And uh, yeah, thank you to everyone for that. And I can't wait to see what season one brings. Uh, Barto asking when the regular season is going to be. Probably next week, to be completely honest. Um, and then he asked, face reveal, not likely. <laughs> and then he got timed out. Um, thanks for that cheese removing the timeout. Oh, Misclick, did you... Cheese, was that you that timed him out? <laughs> uh, it's all, all falling apart in the chat. 
Uh, but yes, that is it for today's stream and for this pre-season. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.